Emma Young. You might remember me from behind such bookshop counters as... Wait. You probably don't remember me from behind any bookshop counters, because although I worked there for many years, I was starting to get the feeling that people don't really notice that the person behind that counter is a person. They might just see like a big eye, like we're just a big information booth. Because that's pretty much how you treat it. They want information about sometimes books, sometimes just where to find things. Anyway, you're kind of treated as an all-purpose oracle when you walk in a bookshop. But it makes for some hilarious encounters. And after a while you start thinking, this would fill a book. And that's what I thought after a few years as a bookseller. And I decided to write that book. And here it is, The Last Bookshop. It's about Kate Copper and her bookshop, Book Fiend. And it's pretty much all she's ever wanted. She set up shop in the heart of the city. And it's a beautiful little part of the community. But the city is transforming, profits are dropping, rents are rising, and pretty soon Kate is in a sticky situation and she's forced to consider whether she's going to sink or she's going to swim. And it's a story about her and the people who decide that she's definitely going to swim and how they help her do that. But it's also a book about cities, about how they change, about what people have to do to dig in and you know, be part of their community as booksellers. And I loved writing it. I hope you love reading it.